Hello everyone, this is Rajendra and uh, in the previous video we discussed about uh, what is list and what all the basic operations uh, that we can perform on the list. So in this particular video we are going to discuss about a list slicing concept and which is very useful when you want to take a part of your list and you want to create a new list out of it, right? So this we are going to uh, cover in this particular video. So we call it as a list slicing part, right? So basically, uh, before we uh, see the actual example, we need to understand few concepts here. So basically, let's say this is our list, which has some element one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's consider it has six elements. Now, what if you want to get only uh, three, four, five out of this particular list, right? So uh, we, we know that how to uh, access the list element, right? Uh, in the previous video, we have seen by using for loop, we can do, right? For x in my list. And then if you just print, so this will give you the individual elements. But this is something not we want. We, what we want is we want to get a slice of that particular list, right? So it's very simple. What we need to do is if you want to get the slice, we need to use this, your list name. And in the square bracket, we have to use three different values. Okay, we need to use the three different values. Under square bracket, we have three different values like start, the separator is a colon, okay? Start, stop, and then step. These are the three values that we need to provide, okay? And we need to uh, remember what all the default values we have for this particular, uh, this particular arguments, right? So, start has default value that is zeroth index right then for stop we have a default value which is nothing but a length of the list length of the list and then step has a default value as a zero so these are the default values when we don't pass all these are the default values will be considered right so now this is our list and if i don't provide anything if i just so this colon is a separator between uh, these three arguments okay start colon stop colon step these are the this is how you just use it for slicing purpose right so right now i'm using the slicing syntax but i'm not providing the any value so by default it will consider this default values and will get the complete list right because we are starting it from the zero we are moving it to the length of the list and we are moving iterating by one element at a time right now we are talking about we want to access only three four five how we can do that so one more thing that we need to remember here is start value is zero and stop value is by default length of the list but that stop value is always excluding okay so uh, right now if you want to access the three four five what all values we need to provide this is the list name and under square bracket we need to pass the start value right so if you don't pass the start value default is zero right which will start the uh, access the first element that is one but we don't want that we want to start it from the third so at what index three value is there zero one two so in value three is there at index two right so we want to start it from the index two till where you want to go you want to go till five value okay at what index it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4 index, we have a value 5. But top value is excluding, so we cannot give the index as a 4. Right? So we have to give the index as a 5. At index 5, we have a value as a 6, but that stop value is excluding, so we can provide the 5 as a index. Right? And then, if you want to uh, give any other apart from the default step value, you can use this colon otherwise even if you don't provide that's perfectly fine but this is first example so let's provide uh, even the default value also let's provide so we have provided two for you one so now if we run it you can see we got the value as expected as three four five right so this is how you can slice it right so now we talked about how we can get the slice when we have a step value right as a one now, what if you want to uh, change the step value as well, right? So let's say out of this particular list, uh, you want to get every alternate member, right? 
so in that case what we can do is this is your list now let's say you want to start from zero then uh, you want to go till length of your uh, list that is my list right and then you want to step by two right we want to get the alternate member of the list right so that's why we have given step value as two so now if we run it we can see we got one three five right so now in this case start and stop value we are using the default only so even if you don't provide it that's perfectly fine so you can just provide uh, if you are not providing the start value directly use colon if you are not providing the stop value directly use another colon and then at the end you can provide the step value so if you run it you can see we got the similar output right so this is a one way of slicing your list now let's talk about what if you want to get in get uh, in a reverse order okay what if you want to get the values in a, a reverse order okay so the concept is again same what we need to do is uh, my list we need to provide start stop and then if you want to access in a reverse order we have to use minus one right so if you run it you can see whatever the list we had we got that list in a, a reverse order because we have given the step value as negative so one more rule that we need to remember here is right now here start stop we have not given we, we have used it as a, a default values so when we have a index uh, when we have a step value as negative then start and stop value gets changed okay so what is the start value when we have an index as a negative so start value is length of your list right then stop value is stop value is zero but here stop value uh, when you want to get the complete list you don't need to provide the stop value okay and then step value if you provide the negative then uh, one thing that we need to remember here is we have to make sure the index of start value should be greater than index of stop value so this is a very important condition we need to remember when we have a step value as negative let me repeat when we have a step value as negative make sure your start index is greater than stop index right so for example now let me print our list once again <clears throat> now let's say you want to get five four three okay you want to get it in a reverse order so what we can do how we can get it by using slicing so this is our list now in this list we already know that we are going to use index in a minus right index is negative now we want to get five four three right this is how we want to get the output so now obviously we want to start it from the five so at what index your five value is there it's on the index four zero one you can see here zero one two three four at four index we have a five value so we wanted to start from the index four till where you want to get go we want to get five four three three is at index two so we know that stop value is excluding so instead of index two we have to give index one and then we have a step value as minus one so if we run it now you can see we got the slicing in a reverse order that five four three so why we got it because we are starting from the index four we are going till index one so that index one is excluding and we are stepping it by minus one right so this is how we can use the negative index uh, if you want to slice in a negative okay so i hope everyone is clear with this now uh, one more short concept i want to cover here is uh, how you can access if your list is a nested one nested list means you have the list and which has some element like one two three four and which also have a nested list which contains some element like this right so that means our fourth fifth element is again one list which has some element like 100 200 300 so normally if we use a simple for loop for x in my list and then if you print that x 
So you will get the output something like this one two three four and then you can see that complete nested element we are getting it as a output right but what if you want to get that nested elements as well right so for that we need to uh, do some little bit changes here so we can use a outer loop as is so we can do for x in my list so this for loop will uh, this for loop will get all the elements individually the root elements but for the nested elements what we can do is we can check the type of that element okay if that type of element is a list then we can again use some iterator to parse it right so what we can do we have one function called as a is instance okay so this function expects two argument one is your element and then we whatever data type we want to check so we want to check with a list right so this is instance function will return true or false okay if the x is of type list it will return true so in case of 100 200 300 we'll get the uh, return value as true uh, sorry for the element 100 200 this uh, nested list will get the return value as true so as soon as it is true we can simply use another for loop okay for y in x okay because this x is x element will be again a list right so then simply we can just print it right so this for loop will extract uh, all the elements so i'll just simply print it uh, i'll just give some string as a inner and then we want to print a y right and then for whichever element which are not of type list for them simply we want to just print that element right so for that i'll just use outer here and we'll print our value of x so now if you run it you can see the output so for value 1 2 3 4 this else block got executed you can see outer 1 2 3 4 we got it and whenever there is a list okay this condition got through and then we used another for loop and then we use uh, this for loop to get all the elements of that nested list right so this is how uh, we can parse the nested list as well right so that's it for this video i hope everyone understood the list slicing part and how we can parse the nested list we'll come up with a next video where we'll see some more programs on the list right so thanks everyone don't forget to like and subscribe the channel